To further their goals in artificial intelligence, Google has announced yet another ongoing project, this one a direct competitor to Bing and is currently known as Project Magi. While Google has announced a plethora of products, Google Magi stands out as a direct competitor to the ChatGPT-powered Bing search engine we all know and use. We know that Google is taking the AI race seriously because they just announced that they're powering the new Google search engine, which handles more than 8.5 billion searches every day. By allocating nearly 160 engineers to Google Magis, the company is ensuring that its next generation search engine, with artificial intelligence features and tailored search results, this will be at the forefront of its competitors. Apparently, this search engine is going to have a chat interface where it's going to use natural language processing and cognitive behavioral therapy techniques to help users overcome their issues. Made to converse easily and respond naturally to questions so they can ask follow-up questions and have a more detailed experience overall. Everyone knows that Google has already released BARD. I don't think BARD is going to be merged into this because it wasn't Google's finest hour and we know that this was really rushed out sooner than it was supposed to be. Despite the competition from other search engines, Google still has the upper hand thanks to its monopoly on search. Here we have the basic framework for how Google will be used to facilitate commercial activities like making purchases and booking travel. The use of Google Pay and its interaction with people surround personal product suggestions based on their likes and past searches. How does this compare to the plugin functionality already available in ChatGPT? Magi, which is expected to debut in May and will be available to 1 million customers in the United States before expanding to 30 million users worldwide by the end of the year. They'll be adding things continuously throughout the year all the way through the end of the year, so it shows us that there is still an ongoing roadmap at Google to attempt to compete with Microsoft's offerings. There is already a connection with ChatPT, and some of you may be asking why Google is rushing to get this launched so soon. After all, May is only around the corner, and the feature has only been in development for a few weeks. In roughly six or seven days, or a couple of days ago, Alphabet shares dropped 4%. after news that Samsung was considering switching from Google to Bing as its default search engine on its devices due to higher performance. Google was frightened that it would fall behind in the artificial intelligence competition, and Samsung was hesitant to have Google as the default search engine on all of its devices. Samsung phones or any Android device were about to remove Google, in which this consideration ultimately led to a drop in Google stock price because Samsung is still a significant contributor to Google's net revenue. The Samsung contract was worth billions of dollars annually, and Apple also had a $20 billion agreement at stake in a contract that was set to expire this year. Now Bing poses the greatest threat to Google in the age of rapidly deployed software and artificial intelligence systems, even if they aren't quite ready for prime time. You may be wondering what else Google has revealed from its artificial intelligence division. In fact, Google has released some material that I haven't had time to cover. Essentially, you can see what I'm talking about here by taking a look at Google's new AI integration in the workplace, which permits seamless transition between your work and the AI doing a kind of co-pilot collaboration. Google's latest iteration of its AI-focused workspace which, as the name suggests, is primarily intended for businesses. It would be almost revolutionary, but I have no idea if they have rolled this out to the traditional users of Gmail. There are some conventional suggestions that do emerge when you use Gmail in a typical day-to-day -day manner, but it doesn't mean that the two are inextricably bound together. At this point, I rely heavily on Google Workspace, but I haven't yet been given access to these features. I assume they're still in the works, but they sound awfully similar to Microsoft's Copilot, which was released not too long ago. When Microsoft launched it, it was effectively an AI tool for pretty much any Microsoft workspace, including Word, PowerPoint, and all the other stuff rolled into one. What you're about to see is Google's AI program, 
and Microsoft's analysis of the data using Copilot will undoubtedly be useful to many people in Excel. However, we can see how Google can facilitate creation of such presentations with relative ease, leading me to wonder if Google is capable of introducing similar technology to other platforms, especially browsers. It can get up to speed, and the features of their softwares appear to get more and more remarkable with time. One such feature that we must discuss is the latest statement made during the AI-powered maps unveiling. It discussed how artificial intelligence will fuel the future generation of Google Maps. While this is intriguing, many users have yet to be won over by Google's efforts to incorporate AI into their conventional map software. On the left, you can see how Google is employing AI to deliver data in real time about what's going on through a type of Google Lens. While this is interesting, I think the pace at which AI is developing will make similar efforts obsolete in the near future. Technology is advancing at a tremendous pace, leading many to expect outrageous leaps in technology to be shown daily. This isn't always the case, though, because you want things to be effective. I admit that this may not have been the most amazing demonstration of artificial intelligence software, but it seems that Google basically wants to entirely spread this out upon the entire world. All the current software they use for Google's initiatives is Magi. I saw a brief demo of this on Twitter, but I haven't seen anything about it in Google's official announcements. If you do, please share this about Google's Magi by leaving a comment down below. The only posts I've seen were those published in news pieces written by credible journalists. All you saw was a hypothetical representation based on hearsay. I can't say for sure that that is what Project Magi will look like, but it seems reasonable to assume that it will be a hybrid of the two. Remember that Google wants to completely destroy the competition that is being right now. Even I, who use Google almost exclusively, use Bing on a daily basis because it has so many features that Google lacks. Let's hope for everyone's sake that Google doesn't utterly rush the release of Project Magi next month. But in the meantime, here's my question to you. Will you be utilizing Google's Project Magi when it releases, or will you be sticking with Bing? Let's just hope that Google doesn't rush its product, because if they do, consumers would likely form the opinion that Google consistently produces subpar artificial intelligence and will be less likely to give the company's future a shot. It would likely be ranked lower than ChatGPT or Microsoft Bing, so they have a lot of chips on their shoulders, and it's not looking good. If you're interested in learning more about ways to make easy money, make sure to subscribe as I'll be giving you all the secret sauce. Make sure to click the like button down below and leave a comment. See you all next time and as always, let's go get this bread.